From Spice Exchange India, a 360 degree solution to address the various business needs in these changing times. The platform, which is an exclusive marketplace for the Indian spice exporters and importers abroad, gives access to information about the Indian spices besides providing an arena of, for digital interactions beyond the constraints for space, time, and language. We are happy to announce that this would be the first buyer-seller meet happening through the Spice Exchange portal. At the outset, we at Spices Road are delight delighted to extend our sincere gratitude to the officials of Indian Embassy Morocco for associating with board in conducting the BSM. As you all are aware, Spices Road is the flagship organization for the development and worldwide promotion of Indian spices. The board is an international link between the Indian exporters and the importers abroad. The board has been spearheading activities for excellence of Indian spices involving every segment of the industry. India and Morocco enjoys cordial and friendly relations and it dates back to the centuries. With a view to further promote the export of Indian spices to Morocco, Spices Board in association with Embassy of India, Rabat Morocco is organizing this online buyer-seller meet. The program envisages to provide a common platform for buyers and sellers of the industry to interact directly and establish effective business linkages and to facilitate the Indian spice trade between India and Morocco. Around 30 Morocco importers and 150 Indian spice exporters from across the country are attending this event. The program will have three sessions. The first session will be the inauguration of the program, followed by a technical session and buyer-seller interaction. On this significant event, we have with us His Highness Rajesh Vaishnav, IFS, Ambassador of India to Morocco, Mr. D. Satin IFS, Secretary Spices Board India, Ms. Parul Singh, Deputy Secretary Plantation, Wana Region, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Mr. G.K. Ban, First Secretary, Commerce, Embassy of India, Morocco, Mr. Iyad Shob, Chairman, Export Committee of Morocco, Mr. Abdul Khader Ben Bekhalid, President, General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprises, and Mr. Basish Narayan Cha, Director, Spices Board. With this, we will move on to the formal program. May I now invite Mr. Nidin Jo, Deputy Director, Spices Board India, for extending welcome address. Before I start the welcome address, can someone please confirm if the voice is audible? GK Pan, sir. Can someone from Morocco please confirm if the voice is clear? Yes, yes, sir. we can hear you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir. Chief guest of the day, His Excellency, Mr. Rajesh Vaishnav, IFS, Ambassador of India to Morocco. Mr. D. Satyan IFS, Secretary Spices Board. Ms. Parul Singh, Deputy Secretary, Vana Region, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Mr. Basit Narayan Cha, Director, Marketing, Spices Board. Mr. G.K. Pant, IFS, First Secretary, Embassy of India, Rabat, Morocco. Other officials of Embassy of India, customs officials of Morocco, and officials from various other government departments of Morocco. The spice buyers from Morocco and Indian spice exporters. Good morning to everyone at Morocco and a warm good evening to my colleagues joining from India. As we all know, India is the largest producer, consumer, and exporter of spices in the world. Indian spices are renowned across the world for their rich intrinsic qualities since time immemorial. And the spice sector has put 
has shown a tremendous export performance over the years, despite the global pandemic situation. Spices Board, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, is the flagship organization for the development and worldwide promotion of Indian spices. The board is an international link between the Indian exporters and the importers abroad, and aims to develop, promote, and promote export of spices and undertake programs and projects for enhancing the quality and food safety of spices exported from India. Now, India and Morocco, as we know, enjoy a cordial and friendly relationship. Over the years, the bilateral relations have witnessed significant depth and growth. Uh, we would like to highlight the commendable contributions in this regard by the Embassy of India, Rabat, Morocco, in strengthening the trade relationship with, with both the countries, including spice trade. During 2021, India exported around 24,000 metric tons of spices valued at 42 million US dollars, which accounts around 38 percentage, both in volume and value of Morocco's total spice purchase. With a view to further promote the export of Indian spices to Morocco, the board, in association with the Embassy of India, Rabat, Morocco, is organizing this online buy seller meet today. With this, I would like to venture into my official responsibility, which is to welcome the dignitaries and participants for today's program. First of all, I would like to welcome the Honorable Ambassador of India to Morocco, His Excellency, Mr. Rajesh Vaishnav IFS, to this program. A warm welcome to you, sir. Now, I would like to invite Mr. D, welcome Mr. D. Satyan IFS, Secretary Spices Board, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, to this International Bias Limit. Welcome you, sir. Now, may I invite Ms. Parul Singh, Deputy Secretary Plantations, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, to this program. Welcome, Madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, may I invite Mr. G. K. Pan, First Secretary, Embassy of India, Morocco, to this program. A warm welcome to you, sir. Now. I would like to inform the honorable sp uh, speakers from the Moroccan side, basically from the Moroccan trade fraternity, Mr. Iyad Soap, Chairman Fenagri, Mr. Abdelkar, President, General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprises. A warm welcome to both of you to today's program. Also, we have with us today Mr. Jawad Kardoui, Honorary Consul General of India in Casablanca. We welcome you, sir, to this program. Now, I would like to welcome Mr. B.N. Jha, Director Marketing, Spices Board, to this International Bias Element. Thank you. Last but not the least, I would like to welcome the, uh, her, the engine of this program, the uh, spice exporters from India and the leading spice buyers from Morocco to this Bias Element. And with your uh, participation, active participation, we are sure. For the further strength, further strengthen India's uh, spice trade, spice trade between India and Morocco in the years to come. With this, I wind up the welcome speech. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Now I invite His High Excellency Rajesh Vaishnav IFS, Ambassador of India to Morocco, to deliver the inaugural address. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Namaskar. Secretary Spices Board and my friend Sri Satyendi, officials and participants from India and Morocco, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings from Indian Embassy in Morocco. A special welcome to our friends who have joined from Morocco. I compliment Spices Board for organizing today's virtual buyer-sellers meet 
in association with Indian Embassy in Morocco. As you are aware, India is known for centuries for its fine spices. Indian spices have been an integral part of the cuisine of many countries for ages. Indian spices are not new to Morocco also. Moroccan cuisine is world famous. And I'm happy to note that Indian spices have played an important part in it. Today, as one of my previous speaker mentioned, spices are an important part of Indian exports to Morocco. Last year, India exported around 42 million US dollar worth of spices to Morocco. And it was one of the largest exporters of spices to Morocco. People in Morocco prefer Indian spices for their fine quality and taste. Export of Indian spices to Morocco is growing and both sides should work together to further increase trade in this field for the mutual benefit of both sides. While India is already a major exporter as far as imports by Morocco of spices like turmeric, cumin seeds and chilies are concerned, we should try to include more varieties and diversify the export basket of Indian spices to Morocco. There is potential for further increase in export of spices like ginger or cinnamon. Therefore, today's virtual buyer-seller meet is very timely. And I would urge the participants from India to use today's discussions to understand the Moroccan market's requirements Another important thing exporters from India should get familiarized is with the procedures and phytosanitary requirements for exporting to Morocco. I'm happy to note that officials from Moroccan government and federations are with us today. We should take benefit of their presence and understand their requirements so that it can help us in supplying more Indian spices to Moroccan market. In the end, I would like to thank Spices Board for organizing today's buyer-seller meet. I wish everyone a good meeting and useful discussion today. Thank you, Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Mr. D. Satin IFS, Secretary, Spices Board India, Minister of Commerce and Industry, to deliver the special address, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, respected Indian Ambassador to Morocco, Sri Rajesh Vaishnavji, my beloved training mate and friend during our uh, uh, foundation course days back to 1996 at Missouri. Uh, Mr. Javad Kardaudi, Honorable Consul General of India, based at Casablanca. Team of officers and staff at the Indian Embassy and Consulate in Morocco, Mr. Iyad Saab, Chairman, Export Committee of Panagri, Morocco, Mr. Abdul Qadir Ben Bakhalet, President, General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprise, Ms. Parul Singh, Deputy Secretary, Wana Region, Ministry of Commerce, Government of India, <coughs> Mr. G.K. Pant, First Secretary, Commerce, Embassy of India, Rabat, my colleagues at Spices Board, and very importantly, the Spice uh, Trading Fraternity that has joined us to become a part of this IBSM today, both from India as well as from uh, Morocco. Good morning to all my Moroccan colleagues, and good afternoon to all the colleagues who are joining us from India. At this outset, outset, first of all, I would like to thank the Embassy of India, Morocco, for associating with Spices Board to organize this international BSM, focusing on spices exports to Morocco. Before proceeding further, I would like to give a very brief uh, account of the spices sector of India as of now. We all know that India is the largest producer, consumer, as well as exporter of, in, of spices in the world. And Spices Board is the flagship agency, which is uh, 
mandated to work for the promotion of Indian spices world over in the international markets. Indian spice exports scaled a landmark uh, figure of 4 billion US dollars in export value just last financial year, which is historic. Last year, we exported more than 17.5 metric tons, 17.5 lakh metric tons quantity of spices valued at 4.1 billion US dollars to the whole world. In fact, our products, about 225 spice products, reached more than 180 destinations across the world. This year also we have put up a very good performance, but up late due to various sudden challenges in the nature of trade barriers, uh, our exports have suffered a stagnation in the last one or two months. I think very soon with the effort of Spices Board under the guidance of our ministry, the efforts will, the, the growth uh, story will be back on track in the next one or two months. During 2021, as has already been mentioned, the spices trade between India and Morocco stood at uh, more than 23,000 metric tons of uh, spices in quantum and about 42 million US dollars in what in, in US dollar terms. And I'm happy to note that we stand as the largest supply of, uh, supplier of uh, spices to Morocco uh, at about 38 percentage of the total imports of spices in Morocco. And I have a list of spices that are getting exported to Morocco from India. I see turmeric, chili, cumin, fennel, garlic, etc., are some of the major spices that are going from our country to Morocco. And I would like to emphasize the importance of Morocco for our spice trade here. Morocco, located in the northwestern Africa, is an important spice destination for uh, Indian spices. We all know that Morocco has very rich spice traditions. It was part of the maritime spice trade routes from India, Middle East, and to Europe. Spices are important part of Moroccan cuisine, and also Moroccan hospitality is famous world over. Cinnamon is native to considered to be native to Morocco, while many, many other spices like uh, saffron, cardamom, garlic, ginger, turmeric, pepper, nutmeg, etc., are being widely used in Morocco. Moroccan cuisines are hugely popular across the world and combines the cultural influences of the Middle East, India, as well as the Mediterranean countries. I see there is a good opportunity for Indian spices to reach a wider Africa through Morocco. And it, as has been mentioned in the beginning, to promote, uh, to facilitate the export of spices from India and to support the uh, stakeholders, support the new entrepreneurs who are venturing into the spices business from India. Recently, Spices Board has launched this virtual platform known as Spice Exchange India uh, with a lot of innovative features. And this particular event is being organized on this platform. And this is the first international BSM uh, that is being organized on this new digital platform known as Spice Exchange India. For the information of all the participants, I would like to uh, state here that this platform is equipped with artificial intelligence supported matchmaking technology for uh, business networking, wherein a particular exporter who wants to export a particular spice to any country can get the list of uh, 
spice traders in that country in a searchable format. And also there are facilities to uh, the users to open 24 into 7 virtual offices to be in touch on a constant basis with the spice fraternity across the world. The board has been taking various measures to address the concerns of the spice exporters in respect of various destinations to boost our exports further. As a strategy, the board has strengthened its collaboration with uh, Indian embassies abroad. And also we have increased the number of international BSMs to be organized this year and in the next year as well. So in this uh, connection, it is uh, worthwhile to mention that it would be a, uh, a useful uh, intervention from the board as well, with the help of the Indian Embassy in Morocco to have this IBSM today on this platform to facilitate Indian exports, Indian spice exports further towards Morocco. Right now, the database says that there are about uh, 40 Indian exporters who are sending uh, spices and spice products to Morocco. Considering the potential, this is poised to grow in the coming months and years. And today, I've been told that uh, more than 150 Indian exporters and uh, more than 20 uh, spice dealers from Morocco are attending this BSM, which shows the larger interest for Indian spices and the scope in uh, and the business opportunities in this uh, sphere. I hope this international BSM will help to build direct business linkages for the Indian uh, spice exporters and their uh, spice importers uh, from Morocco. And I would like to wish a fruitful meeting to you all. And I would like to end my talk by once again thanking the uh, Indian Embassy at Morocco for facilitating and supporting the board in organizing this international BSM. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Ms. Parul, Ms. Parul Singh, Deputy Secretary, Wana Region, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, to deliver the special address. His Excellency Rajesh Vaishnav, uh, respected uh, ambassador of India to Morocco. Mr. Dean Satyan, Secretary of Spices Board of India, Ministry of Commerce of India. Mr. G.K. Pant, First Secretary, Commerce, Embassy of India. Mr. Ia So, Chairman, Export Committee, Fenegri. Mr. Abdul Kadir Ben Khalid, President, General Federation of Moroccan Enterprise. We have an echo issue. We have an echo issue. If, please see, ma'am, if two devices are logged in from the same room by chance. No, I am just logging in from the one device. Okay. We have some echo issues somehow. Generally, it happens when phone and laptop are logged in at the same room. We'll just check, ma'am. One second. Uh, am I audible? Am I audible? Yeah, it's better, ma'am. I think it's sorted out now. Okay. Uh, Mr. B. N. Jha, Director, Marketing, Spices Board of India. Officials from Spices Board and uh, Embassy of India in Morocco. Leading spices importers from Morocco and leading spices exporters from India and ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, I would like to express my wholehearted congratulations to Spices Board for the continuous efforts being made for boosting export of Indian spices. It is noteworthy to highlight the tremendous growth in export of spices during financial year 2021, both in terms of volume and value, despite the global pandemic situation. The Ministry of Commerce 
has been taking various steps to facilitate agriculture exports and initiatives have been taken to achieve the set target of merchandise exports of uh, 400 billion us dollars in financial year 2122 and in spice sector especially the target in export of spices is set for uh, 4.8 billion us dollars though uh, our ties with moroccan dates back morocco dates back to medieval century when the traveler ibn batuta visited india over the years our bilateral relations have become more comprehensive and meaningful the bilateral trade has been continuously increasing over the years with a total trade of 1.9 billion us dollars in 2020 21 the trade figure which is mainly dominated by the moroccan phosphate and its derivatives needs to be broadened with a more composite exchange by adding non traditional items india's export basket to morocco has also grown significantly in recent years spices being one of the major items other than cotton yarn synthetic fibers chemicals etc india is known as home of spices with the best quality of spices grown here indian spices are the most sought after globally because of the exquisite aroma taste texture and medicinal value and uh, i am rather uh, very sad that because of this pandemic we have uh, rather moroccan uh, importers have lost the opportunity of witnessing the actual smell aroma and taste by visiting india uh, so i would uh, uh invite uh, the moroccan importers to india once the pandemic subside to actually come here and witness the aroma texture and smell of our uh, indian spices these indian spices are not only they, they don't add only unique aroma and flavors in our food but they are also known for their therapeutic and immunity boosting properties and the whole world has witnessed the therapeutic properties of these spices in the pandemic The Vana region is a major export destination of Indian spices. During the 2021, India exported 2 lakh 76 metric tons of spices worth 491 million US dollars to Vana region, accounting to 13 percent of the total value of spices exported from India. This year till December, we had exported 26 million US dollar of spices to Morocco. the export target fixed for vana region for the year 21 is 556 million us dollars and whereas till now uh, we have set the target of spices for 51 uh, million us dollars for morocco we have various institutional mechanisms for reviewing the issues pertaining to trade and commerce Uh, between the uh, one regions we have uh, joint commissions meeting and joint trade commissions uh, working groups etc so if the traders they have an any issue we, they can come to us to the ministry for sorting out the issues and we with the help of the mission would try to get the issue sorted out uh, where, as soon as possible i'm sure that this buyer seller meet would set a platform for building effective business linkages which would help to boost trade also we would be able to gap the uh, gap to bridge the gap by bringing together the indian exporters and morocco importers under one roof i urge the industry representatives to make the most of this opportunity to build your contacts and try to customize your products to the requirements of morocco thank you have a great day thank you ma'am Now I invite Mr. Abdul Kader Ben Bekale, the President, General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprises, Morocco, to address the gathering. Thank you very much. Good morning. I I start to give my uh, regards and salutation to Excellency Raji, Ambassador Raji, wise now. and the deputy satin yan and mrs parul singh excuse me for pronunciation uh, <clears throat> we are very happy to meet you 
and uh, I think there is uh, many of our colleagues connected uh, to listen to you and to improve exchange between India and Morocco. The the market or in Mor the, the spice market in Morocco is about one thousand. 100,000 ton, metric ton, about 20% produced in Morocco, particularly paprika. The country exportator to Morocco, of course, India, China, Brazil, Vietnam, Nigeria, and uh, Comoros Island. The product consumed in Morocco, the main product consumed in Morocco, peppers, black and white, ginger, cumin, turmeric, gloves. Uh, my, my friend, Mr. Bashiri Nordin, will join us later. He's uh, 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 main of the operators in spice market in Morocco. Uh, the company is Enter Epis will join us and perhaps he will give more details than me on the specific uh, spice market in Morocco. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Mr. Iyad Shaw, Chairman, Export Committee of Panagri, Morocco, to address the participants. Hello, do you hear me? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yes, uh, hello, everybody. Thank you very much for uh, inviting us to this uh, important uh, meeting. Uh, Your Excellency, Mr. The Ambassador of India in Rabat, uh, all our uh, friends, colleagues in uh, India and Morocco, I'm very honored to be uh, with you uh, today in this important meeting to find uh, opportunities and uh, to grow our business, uh, mutual business uh, in the spices uh, market. I am uh, Iyad Sob. I represent uh, Fenagri. Fenagri is the Moroccan Federation of uh, uh, um, Food uh, Agri Business in, uh, in Morocco. We uh, represent all the food uh, industries association uh, in Morocco. Uh, in our federation, we have more than 20 association of different food uh, industries in Morocco, including uh, uh, fruit, uh, vegetables, uh, dairy products, biscuits, uh, all all the, the the food business association are represented in uh, in this federation. Within this association, we represent more than uh, two thousand uh, companies, uh, food industries companies uh, in uh, in Morocco. Personally, I am the president of the Foreign uh, Trade uh, Commission of uh, this uh, federation. We, uh, as a commission, we help all food industries in Morocco to uh, develop their business, uh, to uh, be more uh, competitive uh, in, uh, in the business uh, in, in Morocco, to grow our market share uh, in uh, the Moroccan market, and also to uh, develop uh, our export uh, worldwide. So um, we help all our uh, industries here in Morocco to find a good solution to uh, improve the, their product quality and to be more competitive uh, worldwide. Of course, in the market of uh, spices, as my colleague uh, just before me said, we are a market of uh, 100,000 tons of spices. Uh, the Moroccan consumer is uh, one of the highest consumer spice consumer in the world. This is linked to our specific uh, cuisine, 
the Moroccan cuisine, uh, very well known uh, worldwide. And uh, it uses uh, a lot of uh, spices in it, which make it uh, very uh, attractive uh, worldwide. Uh, it's almost uh, $300,000. This is our estimation. This market represents almost 300,000, uh, uh, 300 million uh, dollars uh, of turnover uh, per, uh, per year. Uh, it's almost 30 varieties of, uh, of spices that uh, represent the Moroccan uh, market, uh, around 30 varieties, but 75% uh, of uh, this market. Uh, is represented by five or six top uh, varieties. Of course, the, the number one is paprika. Paprika is uh, the most uh, consumed uh, spice here in Morocco, and it's 100% uh, uh, produced uh, locally. Uh, the, the, the local production is mainly paprika number one and coriander. We also uh, uh, produce coriander, and uh, Morocco is one of the uh, biggest exporter of uh, coriander uh, in the world. Uh, of course, all the other uh, all the other varieties of spices are uh, imported: uh, pepper, uh, ginger, uh, cinnamon, uh, turmeric. So all these uh, top, uh, top varieties are, uh, are important. The challenges we have uh, in, uh, in the Moroccan market as Federation of Food Industries in this specific uh, market uh, is more than 90% of this consumption is uh, in bulk. It's not a packed uh, product. So this is our challenge as federation, as uh, food industries associations, we want, we work uh, to develop this market and to make it a packed uh, market and not a uh, bulk market. So we make sure that the consumer uh, is buying a top quality product, guaranteed quality uh, of product. So this is the main challenge that uh, we are working uh, in, uh, in, in our federation. Uh, thank you very much again for uh, this initiative. And uh, our federation, FENAGRI, uh, is ready uh, to work with uh, you, with the Embassy of India, with uh, your association uh, in India, with uh, all the association food industries in India and work together to cooperate, to develop our mutual businesses between India and uh, Morocco. Uh, so uh, please feel free to contact us uh, any time uh, to develop uh, our businesses together. Again, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Mr. Javad Kerdaudi, Honorary Consul General of India in Casablanca, to address the gathering. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Good morning to all participants. As honorary consul, of India in Casablanca and Marrakesh, my main task is to promote trade between the two countries. Of course, the political relations between Morocco and uh, India are excellent. And so I think we can all of us develop the relations, the economic relations between the two countries. India is Morocco's seventh customer and 11th supplier. In 2019, Morocco imported more than one 
billion dollars from India and export 800 million of dollars. So the trade is uh, deficit, uh, light deficit from uh, for Morocco. As for spices, I can confirm you that Moroccan cuisine needs very well the spices from India. And uh, the total market is uh, about uh, 24,000 tons for a turnover of more than $1 billion. As uh, the professional said, the most consumed spices in Morocco are pepper, cumin, paprika, red pepper, ging ginger, and saffron. And as India represents 70% of the world spice market, I am sure that uh, you have, uh, and you will have, and you have already a, a, a good part of the Moroccan market. Thank you very much and good business for you. Thank you, sir. Now I invite Mr. Basit Narayan Shah, Director Marketing Spices Board, to present on the Indian spice industry. Thank you. Good morning, everyone in Morocco, and good afternoon here in India. I extend my warm gratitude to respected Sri Rajiv. Rajesh Vaishnav, Ambassador of India, Morocco, uh, Sri D. Satyan Sahib, Secretary Spices Board, Ms. Parul Singh, Ma'am, Deputy Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, Mr. Ayat Soap, Chairman, Export Committee of Benagri, Mr. Abdel Kader, Ben Bikhale, President, General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprise, Morocco, Mr. Jawad Gerdaudi, Honorary Consul General of India in Casablanca, Mr. G.K. Pant, IFS, First Secretary of Commerce, Embassy of India, Rapta, Morocco. My dear Moroccan importers and Indian exporters. And thank you very much, all of you, for all your cooperations and encouragement extended for arranging this international buyer seller meet of India and Morocco. I will just take you through my presentation, small presentation related to the activities of spices board this is the presentation presentation this is about the spices export to morocco prospects is it visible now can anybody confirm from Morocco? Is it visible, my slides? Yes, visible. Okay, thank you. Yes. Next. The Spices Board, uh, it was constituted by an act of Parliament of India in the year 1986. It promotes and regulates export of 52 scheduled spices in any form, including curry powders, spice oils and all origins, and other mixes. Our mandate is for production, research, domestic marketing, and export promotion of cardamom, small and large. Next. We also have a mandate for research, production, and domestic marketing of spices other than cardamom is vested with the Union Ministry of Agriculture and concerned state and agri-horticulture department of the states. We perform quality evaluation and control of the spices of exports. The Spices Board is the designated competent authority for promoting and regulating the spices export from India by major importing countries, including European Union. 
and the Spices Board has office network and quality evaluation laboratory in the major producing, processing, and export hubs of the spices in India, including Northeastern region. Uh, here, our response, uh, we have our own laboratory network across the India, which is situated in Cochin, Kerala, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, Tuticorin in Tamil Nadu, Mumbai in Maharashtra, then Guntur in Andhra Pradesh, Kandla in Gujarat, Narela in Delhi, and Kolkata, West Bengal. The major ports of India are covered here, where we are having our own state-of-the-art laboratory networks. And it is respons its responsibility is to meet all the quality evaluation, mandatory testing uh, requirement as per the importing countries' norms. Next. Our laboratories are accredited under ISO 17025-2017 and regularly participate in internationally accepted check sample programs. We also have a track record virtually. We have eliminated the issues of illegal dyes in Chile, which was quite prevalent, uh, say, uh, 10 years before. And now it has quite, uh, it, it, it is almost not uh, seen in, in, in our uh, mandatory testing uh, reports. Next. India produces around 10.45 million metric ton of spices. We are having uh, around 7,000 registered exporters with the spices board. Of the total exports, around 50% of the exports of spices are in value added forms. India has 20 plus geographical indication GI registered spices as well. We have our own strong domestic demand and exports of what we are producing, only 17% gets exported. So India is number one as a producer, as well as consumer, and also as exporter globally. Next. So total export in India, as we have uh, in our previous speeches, we have noted already, India during the year 2021, we have exported around uh, 17,000, uh, 17 lakhs 58,985 metric ton, which is valued at almost 4 billion US dollar. And growth of export earning over 1920 is almost 16% in rupees term and 11% in US dollar terms. And growth in export volume over 2019-20 is almost 37%. And number of spice items exported, various spice items are almost 200. 25 spices and spices products, which we have exported in the year 2020-21. Number of overseas destinations are almost 180 countries. And major items of exports are chili, mint, cumin, cardamom small, ginger, pepper, turmeric, coriander, curry powders, spice oils, and all resins. And during the year, a uh, period from 1415 to 2021, Indian spice export registered a compound annual growth rate of 13% in value terms. Warna region is a major export destination for Indian spices. And during 2020-21, India exported almost 276,425 metric ton of spices, which is worth US dollar 491 million to Wana region and accounting for 13% in total value of spices exported from India. Morocco holds a share of 9% in volume and 8% in value of India's total spice exports to the region. The major spices exported from India to Morocco are chilies, cumin, turmeric, fenugreek, cardamom small, fennel, mint products, garlic, etc. And around 40 firms from India are actively exporting spices and spice products from India to Morocco. India's spice exports to Morocco registered a growth of 3% in quantity between financial year 1920 and financial year 2021. And item-wise exports to Morocco during 2021 can be seen here, which is tabulated as follows. The major item of exports are chilies, 
uh, to the tune of 18.49 million US dollar. Then next comes the cumin at 11.62 million US dollar. And then further turmeric, fenugreek, cardamom small, fennel, mint product, garlic, and other products. When curry powder pastes are exported, celery and others item. Here statistically, uh, uh, we have uh, brought the various uh, exports, imports, what it is happening in Morocco, world versus India. So we can see that uh, India has contributed to the much of exports in chilies, cumin, turmeric, uh, and uh, with respect to maize and other spices, it is also contributed globally from other countries. And the strategies, what uh, we are having to boost the spice exports, we have started with the Spice Exchange India, which we have, uh, uh, in the previous speech we have sent that which brings closer the various importers and exporters of India to materialize with the various uh, international orders on the virtual platform for export facilitations of Indian spices. And in this spice exchange, we are happy to also inform that few orders were more than six crores have already been back. And global outreach through IBSM in association with Indian Mission during 2021-22 is already there. And uh, our strategies also include pinch of spices for a bunch of benefits, which promotes the health benefits, immune boosting properties of spices before global audience. Our vision is to sustain the leadership in global trade of spices and value-added spice products. They are contributing to the growth of agricultural exports from India. And mission is to become the international processing hub and premier supplier of clean, safe, and value-added spices and spices products to the industrial and retail segments of the global spices market. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now we have the much the business session of the program. We move on to the business session of the program. First of all, I would like to invite the participants from Morocco. If anyone would like to, we have we already have a made a payment brochure with the details of participants from Morocco as well as the Indian exporters. And to the participants from India, we as Spice Board would be sharing it and likewise. To the participants from Morocco, our embassy would be sharing the event brochure. Now, at this moment, I would like to invite and request the buyers from Morocco to come forward, introduce themselves, uh, speak about their requirements in a brief for the uh, better understanding of the Indian exporters. And we have a translation facility arranged by the Embassy of India, Rabat. So, you can leave, uh, you can use the language of your convenience. I would like to request the Moroccan side, the uh, buyers of spices, to please come forward. Thank you. Interested people, they can use the raise hand option in the Zoom, uh, Zoom so that the host can let you in one by one. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, can, can you please invite Mr. Asaf, Asaf from Indistan to speak? Sir, his name? Mr. As Asaf from Indistan. He is uh, the first importer who will be presenting. Mr. Asaf, please. Okay. Okay. Mr. Asaf, please come. Yes. Forward. Yes. Hearing me? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to uh, introduce my uh, company. Yes, I will. I want to introduce my company as uh, we are one of uh, uh, the biggest importers 
of uh, spices in Morocco. And we are uh, dealing in uh, the different spices as uh, such uh, uh, ginger, cardamom, garlic, fenugreek, fennel, so many items. And we are working uh, with India so long time ago. Uh, my suggestion is to improve business between uh, our both countries is see some uh, uh, things which uh, she stop us means, uh, for example, we want to do big volume, okay? And uh, we want just some flexibility on the, the payment means we must to have uh, some uh, flexible modality and then we can really uh, improve our importers. Uh, I'm talking about flexibility just with the uh, company which is known in Morocco and uh, which and, and uh, trustable. Uh, because I told you that because we are working uh, with other countries like China, okay, and in spices and Nigeria and some uh, African country, okay, Vietnam also, uh, they do with us, uh, you know, a very good modality of payment. Uh, at least it must be 90 days. So uh, we can improve and we can increase uh, the quantity which we import from India. So that's it's my questions. And also I want to uh, talk about uh, the problem which we had in Morocco regarding the Indian cumin. Last time in laboratory, they found that there is some uh, non-authorized uh, pesticide and there is so many quantity of cumin which is blocked. Uh, I hope that you will solve this problem because right now there is shortage of cumin in Morocco. And uh, now we are looking uh, for quality which uh, Morocco are asking for. So you must work uh, hard in that items because uh, there is many containers are still in uh, the port uh, uh, regarding this problem of pesticide. Which, uh, which they say that it's not authorized. And uh, 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 for sure that uh, as uh, uh, my uh, other friends in Morocco, they say that once uh, this pandemic goes, uh, we must to uh, program a visit uh, in India to, to, to discuss about uh, all uh, these things, how, how to improve uh, each one. Uh, how to improve, how to increase the quality and quantity uh, of uh, spices. And uh, I want to uh, say that uh, Indian spices are the best quality, okay, worldwide. We know that ginger, uh, pepper, so everything, uh, the, the spices, are the, uh, and pepper also, I want to relieve the problem in pepper, because pepper, uh, we import from uh, Brazil, and we import from Vietnam and we import from Madagascar. So India have good uh, type of uh, paper, which is MG1, but the, pr the price is not competitive. I don't know why, if uh, the crop is not uh, sufficient or because so many years that we didn't import uh, spices, uh, uh, paper in, uh, in India. So my company, with, uh, uh, she will work, uh, it will work with you, okay? For uh, spices, no problem, but the, just to improve the quantity to import biggest quantity, we must to uh, uh, tell your uh, partners, exporters regarding the payment. Because if there is no flexibility in the payment, we cannot do volume. For example, if we buy, uh, 200,000 tons of ginger, it costs at least uh, 600,000. Uh, and we must to pay in our river, and we must to storage, and we, can, we must to give facilities to our customers. So that is the problem which they block us. With China, we did not have this problem. With uh, uh, other country, we don't have uh, this, this problem. So hope that you, uh, you will understand my uh, my points and uh, go ahead about it. 
And uh, my salutation to uh, His Excellency uh, Embassy of India and all the spice boards and all uh, the peoples uh, which are in the meeting. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank, thank you, Mr. Asteb. We have noted your comments. And uh, in this regard, we would like to request you to share your contact details in the chat box so that you have basically flagged two points. One is with the, regarding the flexibility. So you, you, I request you to share your details in the chat box so that people, the exporters who can meet this criteria, this requirement can get in touch with you directly. That's one part. And second part, this the cumin issue. We are working, the Spices Board is working with the Embassy of India uh, rubber uh, as well as the Indian exporters to address it. That has been, that, that has been taken up. Um, thank you. And now, uh, can I invite Mr. Sosi from Tradipal, Morocco? Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, please. Hello, I uh, first uh, would like to thank uh, uh, everyone for uh, organizing this uh, opportunity for us. Uh, His Excellency, the Ambassador of India, and all the participants, thank you for. Uh, uh, having this uh, meeting for us. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for our both countries to firm up the relationships. I would like first to introduce our uh, company. Uh, we are located in Morocco, Tradipal. Uh, um, we are a large operator in the local market. We actually uh, offer a large uh, range of products to the retail market. It's a uh, um, packed uh, uh, products, spices, pulses, and and uh, name it. So uh, we are interested in uh, four uh, spices, cumin, ginger, uh, turmeric, uh, dried garlic granules. We are also interested in uh, rice, quinoa, and, and, uh, and chia uh, as well. So to uh, the point that was mentioned earlier about the, the payment, of course, uh, I, would, I would like just to maybe uh, say the same without having to repeat the same point. So price flexibility or payment flexibility is, is, a, is a great uh, competitive uh, uh, addition. The other uh, point I would like to, to add is one of the challenges that we have here in Morocco is, is how to trace the quality. And uh, for example, uh, when, I, when we do some operations from uh, other countries, uh, the, the SGS quality tracing is something which will be included in the operation. So this way, whenever we present a product to our buyers, we don't have to justify which, which grade is that it's traceable. There is a paper, it's agreed upon. So maybe quality tracing uh, is another point I would like to, to, to add. And uh, of course, uh, the other challenge that I was facing is how to build this kind of uh, trust uh, both ways. And with this opportunities like this one, at least we, we, we can connect and I would uh, uh, be very happy to establish any relationships and partners with, uh, with business uh, operators in India. I will share my contacts, my email, my phone number, and please uh, feel free to contact us. Uh, we have uh, great uh, uh, inquiries and opportunities to, to grow the industry in our country. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rida. Mr. Rida. Can I, uh, can I uh, request Madame Sondus from La Belle Group? Is Madame, Madame Sondus here? Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Sundus. I'm from the import department of La Belle Vie, uh, Morocco. So uh, we are um, representing Carrefour Morocco with more than... Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, the invitation. Uh, it's our pleasure to be part of this event. Um, so uh, for La Belle Vie, Morocco, we have uh, two kinds of uh, businesses. The first one is Carrefour with uh, more than 123 stores uh, all over Morocco, all over the country. And also Atacadao uh, with uh, 12 stores. Atacadao is a Brazilian concept, cash and carry stores. We, uh, we work uh, with wholesalers, uh, Horeca, etc. 
So um, normally we used to buy locally spices here in Morocco, but uh, as we saw the opportunity uh, to import, uh, it would be great to, uh, to study the, the possibility of importing spices like uh, ginger, uh, garlic, uh, pepper, uh, and this kind of spices. So uh, I will uh, I will leave you uh, my email address and also my phone number to receive some offers for study from the suppliers. Uh, and thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. As I gather, you have expressed your interest in uh, dealing with Indian spices, and further, you have said that you would be sharing your email ID and contact number in the chat box. I request Indian exporters to note those details and further get in, uh, get in touch with uh, Madam for building the business linkages. Can I, uh, hello? Yes, sir. Can I now invite Mr. Adnan from Rita's Food? Hello, Mr. Adnan, are you there? I think he's not there. Hello? Hello, I think he can't hear us. Uh, 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 can I uh, request Spicepo to, you know, ask the Indian exporters if they have any questions for the customs uh, so that, you know, they are uh, waiting and if there are any queries uh, for the customs uh, people, they can answer. All right. Excuse me, sir. We have one question. Uh, the, as, you, as you rightly mentioned, what are the regulations required in Morocco for spices and how do we comply to those regulations? Are you able to hear me, sir? Yes. So we wanted to know what are the regulations required for import of spices in Morocco and uh, what are the compliance requirements? Hello, is the uh, representative from the customs department, uh, can you please uh, uh, answer this question? Madam Raja Fatimi? Hello? I think they are not able to hear us at the moment. Maybe. Hello. Yeah. Uh, maybe I can uh, ask uh, uh, to proceed with the program further. And then in the meantime, when we uh, get them back, the customs people, uh, we will ask them to answer this question. Right. Any, uh, any more questions specifically addressed to the Moroccan authorities? We will. <laughs> If, even if we are not able to get a direct response, uh, if if we are even if we are not if we are not able to get a direct response now, we would further be comparing at Spiceboard, We would be comparing these questions and taking up with the embassy for further uh, contacting the customs. So you can continue with the with those questions uh, to the Moroccan authorities if any. Miss Miss Nishar Ahmed. So this take one uh, exporter from India. Uh, Mr. Nisar from Morocco, you are inviting Mr. No, Nisar. No, no, yeah. no. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. You you would like to say something? I was yes. Your audio was on. You hear me? Yeah. You can hear me. Yes, you are audible. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for uh, uh, Morocco, Robert, Indian Embassy, as well as uh, India government uh, to, um, uh, to make me participate in this uh, online meeting. It made me a very healthy and a strong uh, opportunity to do the business uh, upcoming projects with the Morocco. I sincerely thank you everybody once again. And I like to have only um, two questions that um, like uh, we have a regular uh, requirement for uh, uh, red, pe red pepper, saffron, and then ginger and 
spices items, uh, turmeric. And it, I, some clients which I met in Morocco, they're asking uh, two questions always with me. So I like to have uh, some suggestions from you that uh, the some of exporters from India, when we are asking about our logo, like our brand, when they when we are asking like that, and uh, same time they say this is a premium quality, and they say if you use uh, our brand, it will be more premium quality. So what is mean uh, premium quality and uh, what is the higher premium quality? When I want in my own brand, they say different quality. When I want to take their brand, they say premium quality. I, it makes me my business confused in this part of uh, area. So I want to understand what is A grade and B grade of the products. How to make my uh, clients to uh, satisfaction and make to believe that this is a premium quality and this is A, this is B, this is C. How to how I can I swear them. And when I purchase, uh, they are asking uh, Nizar, is this uh, sure this is a premium quality? How I can make them assure this is a premium quality? How uh, exporter from India can give me uh, exact uh, information and detail, this is a premium, this is A grade, this is B grade, this is C grade. How can, uh, is it they can provide me like this information? It will be helpful for my sales. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, am I clear now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. From the trade perspective, actually, what happens? The quality we see from two perspectives. One is from the trade perspective, and another from the chemical constituent of the particular spices. Uh, spices for its quality, it also need to be tested in a laboratory to see what are the in, in uh, uh, chemical constituent what it poses because that only gives the flavors and the aroma of the particular spices. But subsequently, when you come to the trade, trade what happens, there are certain trade terms are there, like 99% purity, 99.99% purity, 95% purity. So like cumin, if you want to purchase cumin, they can also sell you for a say, lesser price and it, they will, it will be told by the uh, trade that this is 90%, uh, 95% purity. And if you pay a slightly a, 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 a more amount, they may even supply you for 99%, also 99.9% purity. So that, that, that way, it, the price also goes higher. And the second thing is that uh, once you grade, the grading is there on the, on the basis of mesh size, like pepper, like black pepper you take. So black, black pepper, when we take, it is extra bold is there, bold is there and then um, medium size are there. So different sizes are there. The, uh, uh, where it is uh, cultivated, like Malabar Garbal. Malabar, Malabar Garbal, it has a history of thousands of years. So that actually, that's why when, when uh, one of the importers were telling uh, the spices uh, grown in India is of uh, high value, why the high value is charged. Because uh, globally, when we say uh, Vasco da Gama in, uh, the, came to India, uh, from the Cochin port, and they came for a uh, very purpose was to get uh, spices. And for getting the spices, they have traded it with the precious gems and jewelries and all such stuff. So this uh, Malabar Garbal is an age old, uh, this one, uh, with the premium what they get even globally also, maybe in the USA market and other markets also. And uh, even for the cardamom, Cardamom also has got various grades, like 8.5 8, 8, 8 mm, 8 mm, 7 mm, 6 mm. So likewise, when the grades are there, and historically these uh, spices uh, have been very famous for many, many years from India. And there is the intrinsic qualities are there. Color is there, luster is there, flavor is there, aroma is there. And due to that very purpose, these uh, spices, what it is grown in various parts of the India, globally it is recognized and known. And hence, uh, some premium are charged on those trades. So these are the few points which I wanted to tell here.
one point here, say uh, if uh, it is being traded in a different brand, say like MDH brand or Baba brand or uh, uh, um, some different sort of uh, brand, but the commodity what it is uh, uh, sourced from which portion it is sourced, the different uh, name does not uh, make it uh, anyway premium or say uh, more uh, of a good quality. So it is the intrinsic quality of that particular spices, what it is grown in India and what we supply to globally, that makes it a premium, not the name. Thank you. Can I ask a question? This is Sridhar Bhave. Yeah, before that, why we, are, we can see the customs officials from Morocco logged into the program. Uh, uh, sir, we had a question from an, uh, the Indian export. Sure on the procedures for export of spices or for import clearance of spices at Morocco. Uh, the customs team, can you please throw some light on it and guide us on the process? Thank you. I think still we have lo lost them. Anyway, we will keep it for, for some time future. Before we go into the detailed question, we I would like to invite uh, Mr. Mr. Harsh Patel from Jaydatra Trading Company to give a uh, to as a as a leading and current exporter of spices to Morocco. You, I would request you to give a brief about your company the items you export and uh, related information. Mr. Harsh Patel from Jaydatari. <clears throat> Hello. Yes, Mr. Harsh, you are audible. My name is Harsh Patel from uh, Jaydatari Trading Company. We are based in Unja, which is the largest market of cumin seed in the world. We are currently a top supplier of, and exporter of uh, Indian spices from Munja. So currently we are working with many Morocco customer for uh, cumin, uh, turmeric and dry ginger. Currently, uh, we are finding currently one big issue is the custom issue at the uh, Morocco uh, for the cumin seed. They are checking the pesticide issue specifically, specifically for cumin seed. We currently cannot get the list of the pesticide. They are checking what will be the, the, the range of the pesticides and the, the limits of pesticides. So we can you know, we talk to with the customers and we can find with them about the, so we can find a solution and we can supply according to that level. We also need a support from Spice Board and the Morocco, custo uh, Morocco customer that uh, you both together talk with about and negotiate about the, the pesticide limits. So we can, uh, the continuous supplies for cumin seed to the Morocco market. Right now, the Morocco have shortage of cumin seed and they are, uh, you know, offer, they are asking for rate and uh, the, they need the pesticide free goods. But still we cannot get the, the list of pesticide. They, uh, you know, the Morocco customers asking for the testing at the put. Okay, Mr. Hirsch, we are not at this and we, we should soon be uh, take, uh, getting back to you for the, with further details on this. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Vishnu from RBG Trading. Mr. Vishnu Gan Gupta. Mr. So, Gupta, please. Yes, can you hear me, sir? Yes. Hello? Yeah, you are audible. Please can. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, my name is Vishnu and uh, I'm uh, from RBG Trading Corporation. We are exporters of spices to Morocco 
and uh, we are exporting mainly cumin seed, ginger, and nutmeg. Hello. Yes. So we you... are actually facing a lot of uh, our payment difficulties uh, from Morocco. We, we had exported a uh, few containers from India to Morocco. The bank, it was, it was on CAD basis. The bank, the bank released the documents to the buyer and uh, they have taken the cargo, but they have not paid us the money since September. And, and the documents were sent like on CAD basis. So the bank is not returning the documents to us as well. They are not giving the payment. Society General. Society General Bank. Tangier. Tangier. And we, we are running from post to pillar. We have sent so many uh, swift messages from our access bank to uh, Society, Society General. General. But they are telling they have some internal issues with the customer, which we are not responsible. And they are not even returning our... Uh, uh, we have, we uh, have noted your concern, Mr. Vishnuka. Yes. We will, uh, from Spiceport side also, we will take it up with the Embassy of India, Raba, to uh, have a speedy resolution on the on this. And we, it's quite unfortunate. We, uh, anyways, and uh, other uh, other than that, what are the major products which you tra trade with Morocco? So we are doing uh, nutmeg, ginger, and cumin seeds. All right. And turmeric. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you can I can I can I um, uh, say something on this? Yes, yes sir. Please. Sir. Yeah, we you see uh, the embassy of India is already aware about this case, and Mr. Gupta also knows that you know we have taken up his case strongly with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, even with the the Bank Societe General. But apparently there seems to be you know they are holding on to the payment on the grounds that uh, there is some uh, uh, transaction number which the uh, importer has to provide them so they they seem there is some sort of you know fraud or something which has been committed in this transaction that is where they are not releasing the payment we have also taken up the issue with the central bank and uh, embassy is uh, aware of this problem and they are trying to resolve it taking it up at every level but in case it does not uh, get resolved i have already uh, told uh, rbg trading to take it up legally okay sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, may I now may I invite Sef, Miss Sefi Sefi imports from Morocco? Hello, everyone. Yes, so we are Sef Imports. We are um, imports exports company based here in Morocco. Um, so, first of all, I would like to thank, of course, all the organizers of this uh, interview. You. that's a great uh, work so thank you thank you thank you guys um regarding our business with uh, india we we actually are importing rice only rice from india we wanted to import the spices but the problem we had is uh, we couldn't really find trustworthy and serious partners in india uh, that's uh, that's a reality we 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 had to 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 to, to struggle with in in india so i'm saying that here so we are open to to open new businesses with India. If some suppliers want to get in touch with us, they can. I guess uh, Madame Nezha has the um, the contact of my office, so she she can share with the suppliers with no problem. I won't be long because all the points I wanted to share have already been uh, shared by the the other importers importers here. I would like to underline one point, which is the payment terms. Indeed, we would like to have more flexibility in within the uh, the payment terms. Um, I heard that Mr. Um, Vishukant Gupta, that just talked before before me, had some problem with the bank. I would like to say that this is not the general rule. I mean, maybe it's an isolated case. Uh, that may happen in all countries, but here bank area is very regulated, so there is no specific problem or anything. Anyways, any, any anyways, from my company, anyways, uh, we won't have any problem. I am the director. I am reachable at any time. So if something uh, is wrong, I will I will do my best to solve it. So this is how we work. We are open to new business within spaces area. If uh, some suppliers want to get in touch, they can do that through what.
WhatsApp or email or whatever. And uh, that's it from our side. Thanks again, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I, uh, I believe now we would invite the customs uh, point at Morocco once again with a request to kindly share their views on the procedure and process for import clearance of spices at Morocco. The customs office, you may please come forward. Thank you. Can Mr. Ab Abdurrahim L of the Odgiri from the customs? Mr. Abdurrahim from the customs, can you hear us? M Mr. Abdurrahim, I think you are connected. Are you able to hear us? I think there is some difficulty that we can proceed. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is there. Just he can. I can see him there. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Abdul Rahim, we were we would like to uh, we would like to request you to please enlighten the uh, Indian exporters on the procedure for clearance of spices at Morocco. We have had a few uh, doubts from the uh, Indian exporters seeking some guidance in this regard. We look forward to your valuable inputs. Thank you. We can't hear you. It seems there's an audio issue. Can you unmute yourself? I think maybe he's... No, he, Mr. Rahim is already unmuted. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We did not heard it. We did not heard it. Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, we can continue proceed. We will try to get him on again, please. It's okay. All right. Now I have. There are a few exporters from India who have requested for a speaking slot. Before that, I would like to, uh, I will invite them one by one. Before that, I would like to inform everyone that uh, for the participants in India, we have formed a WhatsApp group. I have shared the group invite in the chat. The exporters can join the uh, link. And this, you know, this WhatsApp group will only have Indian exporters. And the purpose of this is to disseminate the event brochure to all the participant exporters. So the brochure, we will be posting the event brochure in the in the WhatsApp group. And for all the participants from Morocco, the embassy, the GK Pansa, would be sharing the event bro sorry, event brochure with the details of Indian exporters uh, to all of you, which can further be used to uh, for communication and for and information exchange with a view to build and convert uh, spice uh, spice export. Now. The Indian exporters, I will, before inviting them one by one, I would like to request you to please be very brief to the point uh, so that we will have opportunity for maximum participants. Uh, may I invite Dr. Sunil Rethi? Hi. Hello to everyone. Uh, my questions are two in numbers. Uh, we have one question regarding flexibility of payment. Uh, as uh, many of uh, the speakers have said that uh, flexibility is a very key issue regarding uh, ex uh, expanding of the export or import business. Like I want to ask you that uh, we are willing to provide flexibility of payment, but uh, against what? We need payment security. So every exporter is looking towards the security of payment, right? And uh, once the importers are asking for 90 days payment, then uh, usually uh, there are certain aspects that exporters are not willing to provide that much of uh, uh, leniency towards payment. So I would like to ask you and request you, uh, the government authorities of both countries, that there should be some uh, sort of arrangement regarding uh, security of payment about the exporters and importers. Second thing is about the health certificate. We are uh, supplying uh, so many goods to Morocco. 
and uh, all are food grade and they need health certificate in original copy see the health certificate is specified uh, to be issued from uh, eia export in export inspection agency of india which is government institute and uh, the moroccan customs needs original uh, certificate like uh, they need original copy so can spice board or government authority make this uh, like other certificate which are being issued as digital certificate and they are authentic they need not to be have uh, in physical presence at custom clearance at the time of custom clearance so if it is made possible that uh, the health certificate which is issued by government authority of india which is eia it is a digital certificate issued as digital certificate should be considered as uh, authentic at the digital certificate at moroccan customs point of view so we need not to be wait because it takes time at least 15 days to be issued and once it is issued then uh, then only we can ship on board doctor so it takes a long long time uh, to ship on board the goods thank you thank you for sharing your feedback not to your point on the uh, second point on the health certificate i would request you to send an email to spices board we will definitely take it up to the okay. mc and on the first point i would uh, the uh, the floor is open for the uh, moroccan importers to share the views uh, and inputs on the first question and you can email to uh, spices board we will if you can you share your contact details so that we can get in touch with you or you may share sure, sure, sure. i i will send it to you Okay. Uh, where should i send uh, please uh, give me the email address so that i can send I'll, it i'll 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 uh, share, share the email id in the chat okay okay thank you and thank for you. to answer the first question of uh, dr sunil i would like to request the uh, buyers from morocco to please share some inputs thank you You can hear me? Miss flexibility suggestion had come from Mr. Asteb. If Mr. Asteb is online, you may please come forward. Mr. Asteb. else we will continue with the program and we can we hope to have mr asteb soon mr. yes okay mr asteb okay he is uh, online now the we had a query from uh, an indian exporter i hope you were online or which we i'll uh, i'll take it i'll uh, repeat it once again that on the payment flexibility the exporter was asking they are willing to do that but they would like to know what sort of security yes, you can you want you want mr sunil you can repeat your question yeah my question is uh, any exporter who is willing to do export and expanding its export uh, against the payment terms of 90 days credit or something like that then against that what we need some payment security so there should be some instrument between the government or the agency government agency that uh, our payment will be safe so that we can dare to uh, provide these flexible payment terms uh, we have good export to morocco and we want to expand it uh, we we really want to expand it but uh, most many of our uh, buyers uh, take their steps backwards they say that uh, when we get payment from our customer then only we can uh, provide you the payment we understand their situation also but uh, what what next there should be some uh, scope of uh, i mean to say we want to do business expand the business you have to do something for us so that we can do it okay great this is this is my the concern and question that we want to do it so please support us uh, see I, the see through the eyes of exporter dr sunil i think your point is well communicated yeah 
Mr. Sastev, if you would like to share some inputs on this, we can have, we would like to hear from you. If not, Mr. Sunil, I've shared the uh, email IDs with you, uh, sorry, in the chat box. You can take this up also, ask Pfizer's board. We would, uh, we would uh, like to check with uh, the uh, government, current government missionaries for providing insurance or support to the exporters, the ECGC as to how far they operate with regard to, uh, for exports to, make, uh, to Morocco. We would check on that and would uh, get back to you in due course. Okay, thank you. I, I want to tell you something. On, uh, I want to tell you something. You hear me? Yes. Yes, yes I, regarding payment, because uh, Morocco, they have a custom procedure, uh, more than 200,000 dirham, you cannot able to send the payment per bill. You know, uh, this is the procedure which I hear from customs. Uh, is it if I book uh, five containers or two, uh, more than 200,000 value, Morocco dirham, more than 200,000 value, how to send payment? If you, uh, like uh, Mr. Sunil Sar said, he will be flexible about payment. So what kind of flexible uh, for uh, any idea so that uh, we will, I will pay, I will do my payment. There is no issue. But Morocco have the rules that um, above 200,000 dirham, you cannot send TT amount. Above that, you have to do LC or CAD format. This is the option which I hear so far. If you have any other uh, better option from customs that I can send for TT for two container or three container, it will be helpful for me and for an exporter also. I like to have a good relationship for the future import. Me, please. All right. Thank you. Next, moving on, Mr. Najib Mitra. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is a bit of addition to what Dr. Sunil said about health certificate. Recently, we got an order of organic spices from one Morocco company. So that order is ready since one and a half months, but we are struggling for health certificate that customer asked at the last moment. So this consignment contains uh, cardamom, clove, ginger. And uh, we approached EIA and EIA is not obliged to issue health certificate for these uh, items. And even Spice Board, uh, we could not get clarity on the health certificate. So there is a bit of confusion going on. So we want a clarity from, again, from Morocco Customs. Firstly, what exactly is the document and who is the competent authority in India to issue the health certificate? And uh, here, back at home from Spices Board, uh, I would request to address this issue because some more exporters are recently facing the same issue in concern with Europe, etc. for different categories of spices where it is mandatory and you know how to go about it. Sir. That's it. Thank you. Mr. Rajiv, thank you for packing this. Uh, we have noted this with utmost uh, seriousness. I, as I have said, I have shared the email IDs in this. You can shoot us a message, you have to shoot us an email. We would further take it up with the Morocco Embassy to uh, help you with the format. And also, we would uh, soon, uh, soon take necessary steps to issue a health certificate for uh, spices exported to Morocco. And addressing your second point, which is the health certificate to European Union, I'll just cover it in brief. We, you may please attend to Spices Board Circular Number 24 the slash 2021, released on January uh, Jan in the last part of January. Which would, which would detail the procedure for uh, issue, for obtaining health certificate of for export of spices to the European Union. You can access this circular from the Spice Board's website. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, noted. Uh, for the shipment, 7th February onwards, there is a clarity, but uh, customers in Europe are demanding health certificate for the shipments which are in transit. Yeah, we had we, this issue has already been taken up uh, with the uh, European uh, Indian mission there, and we have some solution on the cards. Positively, by today, uh, uh, by today or tomorrow, we would be communicating that to you. 
officially through a circular. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, next is Mr. Sridhar Pavey. Hello, everyone. I have, uh, can you guys hear me? Okay, okay, great. Uh, so basically, I have a very basic question, so to say. I am a new company. I am a new exporter. So how easy or how difficult it is for me to uh, export spices to Morocco? And how can I uh, get guidance for being a first time exporter of spices to Morocco? Uh, yeah, um, Mr. Mohammed Siari from the, he's the marketing uh, assistant from the Indian embassy. He will uh, try to say something. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay. Uh, so about exporting spices in Morocco, we are facing normally one one major problem mm -hmm. is the health certificate. Okay, because okay. When, when the merchandise, the goods come to Morocco, even if the payment is done by thirty percent, we have ONSA, Office National of of Food Safety and Security. So so ONSA they are required. The, the health certificate should, should should be issued by by the Indian government, not private companies, oh. giving the health certificates. Some a lot of a lot of European countries that they are allowed, but in Morocco it's not allowed. Sometimes we are facing big problems. Ten to to five to ten containers coming to the port of Morocco and they are stuck there because oh. also they are stopping they are stopping the the, the the entry to the Moroccan market, and then the, the Moroccan importer is lo is losing a lot of money. The Indian exporter too. So. Uh, there is two ways. Either he, he, the container should get back to India, or it should be exported to, 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 to another country, European country or another, or another country. So the health certificate is very obliged. And this is this is the major problem. And the okay. second one is about the payment. The payment should be CAD, cash against the payment. Okay. So CAD, normally the, 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 the importer, uh, the importer pro 30% of the payment. Okay. And then when the country, all, all countries are here in Morocco, he, he, he makes another payment of 70% to the bank. Then he can take the paper to, 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 to let the, the, the goods enter to Morocco with the health certificate, of course. Okay. Okay, so there's two major problems. The, 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 the payment is CAD, 30% plus 70% when the countries are here and the health certificates. Okay. Okay, that's it. This is the problem with the with, with concerning spices. Okay. Thank you. No Mr. Sridhar, again, yeah. uh, from the Indian side for exports, uh, as, you are, as you might be aware, to export spices to any destination, you would like to, first, you would, get, you would like to get an IE code from DGFT, which you might already be. Right, right. Yeah, I have and, that already. And you should have a Spice Board CRES registration certificate, which also I assume you would be having. Yeah. Okay. And uh, then, the, then for clearance from India, there are currently there are certain mandatory tests prescribed by Spices Board, based on which only the customs at the Indian ports would give you clearance. That details are loaded in the board's website. But I would like to say here that the mandatory tests prescribed by Spices Board are only uh, doesn't cover the entire gamut of tests uh, done by the uh, respective country. The, okay. These items or concerns which are Repetitive, those only have come under the mandatory testing ambit. The rest, uh, you will have how to check with your, you, the, always it's appreciated to have a strong dialogue with your buyer as to understand the local requirements, his quality and safety requirements before proceeding with an order th so that it would help with clearance. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. We have, I think we have two more hands raised and with, uh, with uh, go, okay, with that we will wind, wind up before that. We, I would like to request one more buyer from Morocco. Oh, uh, Madam Salmia Meta Global. Ma'am, we would like to request you to come forward and share your views. Good afternoon. You can hear me? Yes, you are audible. Please get on. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Sumaya Barbash from Morocco. 
uh, director general of a company called Everest Corporation. Thank you so much for uh, Mr. Ambassador and for every person who organized uh, this day meeting for us. Uh, I am doing uh, importation of rice and spices. I would like to share uh, contact with the many other companies. Uh, I think uh, all the points were already shared. Thank you so much for this. And uh, I wish in the future there will be some big organization of the companies in India where we can come when this uh, pandemic will uh, finish. Thank you so much for everything. I would like uh, to have contact with the, so many new companies, especially for uh, marconized spices uh, <coughs> and hydrated legume. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We, we are happy to welcome you to India. And we hope that uh, the pandemic restrictions would end soon, taking us back to the normalcy which we used to enjoy in terms of business tools. And we would like to request you to share your contact details in the chat box, if not already done, so that the Indian exporters can take note of it and get in touch with you for further strengthening the business. Thank you once again. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Saurabh Chandra, you would like to say something, please? Please. Hello. Please don't, Hello. Re please don't repeat the questions which have Hello. already been covered. Uh, are you hear me, sir? Yes. Hello. We can hear you. Yeah, uh, I would like to present you uh, uh, my presentation. Uh, are you seeing me my presentation? Mr. Mr. Saurabh, I doubt we do not have the opportunity. do not have the opportunity for to do a presentation now. You can speak in brief about your firm, what you do, and the products. Yeah, yeah of course, sir. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my uh, company name is uh, Wilo Global India and our specialization in uh, turmeric product. Uh, we are an emerging exporter of turmeric. I want to say that uh, our product uh, would be the best match for importer company and uh, we can provide the product at uh, most affordable price and of the best quality. Actually, we know that exports are based on trust and reliance. Uh, that is why we are providing the best possible service to our client and our uh, company partnered with the farmers who have a credible track records and uh, we get uh, the turmeric by them and then we export the product and uh, uh, we source our uh, spice growing areas. And uh, also we care about our client budget and uh, provide products at uh, very economical rates as uh, compared to other in the market without compromising on the quality. And uh, I also want to say that our uh, spices uh, free from pesticides, uh, fertilizers and uh, uh, we using only traditional farming techniques. We don't sell oil extracted, polished or uh, artificial color added spices. Uh, it's the natural qualities are kept in intact in a raw form. And uh, we also grinding at low temperature. Uh, I want to say a real image, but uh, now my in presentation, but uh, uh, is uh, we are, uh, and I want to say that uh, we provide customized uh, packaging size according to client's demand. Uh, importers even goes uh, with the quality or price advantage that uh, help the bottom line. And uh, just remember that our product always creative and uh, new for uh, importers, com uh, cust uh, importer customers who would benefit from being served by an exceptional company according to their needs. Uh, contact us, uh, we are here for you, and uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on, Mr. Milan. Milan Shah Raj. Raj. Hello. Yeah, before I go on to Milan, I would like to make an announcement uh, that we have three more raised hands for the time being, and with that, we would wind up the program. We would go into the next part, which is the vote of thanks. So uh, I will invite one by one who are the people who are who are raised hands currently. Mr. Milan, please proceed. Yeah, myself is Milan Sa. I am. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Milan here from Raj International. My the my question is according to same Mr. Arsh Patel from the Jay Data Trading, uh, Mr. Gopal Krishna Ban. I would like to speak regarding the cumin pesticide issues. 
uh regarding this uh, cumin pesticide issue at the morocco custom right now we are uh, facing too much problems since last 3 months 3 uh, months even our uh, shipments are on hold at the moroccan ports uh, still we are not getting any uh, help from the moroccan customs also even from the uh, our consignee ends because of this pesticide issues we are facing a very big problem in the terms of the uh, container deal uh, demerit charges and everything so we would like to uh, talk for this uh, big issue for the cumin seeds for the pesticide issue mr mr milan we have noted yes. this and we should soon be appraising you with full details the work is already on that's from my side pan okay. pan sir you would like to add something uh, yeah we had you know already uh, got a, a objection uh, which uh, the onsa had raised uh, in a recent case uh, of the cumin seed uh, about the access uh, of pesticides and uh, the embassy had forwarded that uh, thing to the spice board uh, for the comments so uh, you know if we get the comments we can take it up with the moroccan authorities here yeah you are, yes i know i know but since last one month our containers are on hold with the uh, casablanca ports we are not getting any such kind of uh, reply from the uh, casablanca customs or a uh, liner side or uh, from any other uh, spice board or anything because uh, mr milan as i understand your concern is more about the information exchange on the uh, information the details part but what i would request you is i have already shared the email id in this in the chat okay. you send us an email with your container details which okay. we would take up with embassy and as the first point we would try to gather an information as to the reason for this uh, reported uh, blockage at the okay. port and once when we get that information we would further work together to get it resolved okay noted thank, thank you. you yeah moving on uh, mr <coughs> mr venugopal yes i'm here you have raised your hand you would like to say something yeah actually i need to, the consolidated uh, address of all the Foreign importers who attended the meet because my chat box is uh, full dumped. Also, another thing is uh, I represent a company for the international. Sorry to interrupt. Meanwhile, Mr. Farooq Ahmed, Joe, please unshare your screen. If not, still okay. Can you get me? Yes. Yeah, I would like to have uh, this consolidated uh, contact details and email IDs of these. Uh... Consolidated contact details. Yes. I have shared a WhatsApp link, uh, WhatsApp chat group link in the chat box. Please enter, use that link and enter the WhatsApp group, which will have the brochure. Sure. Also, just to... if you had registered for this program through the Google Forms link uh, within uh, within seventh of February, we have your yes. email IDs. And to all those email IDs also, we would be sending the brochure separately. Okay, fine. Uh, just two minutes. I represent a company called Vee International. Uh, we are having a twelve plus years of experience in handling uh, exports to different countries. Uh, we would like to give the best price and the best. I have been unmuted by the host. It seems to be. Mister, so, sorry, yes. you. We could hear you. Yeah. We would like to provide the best quality and best quantity to all our buyers. But I will share my contact list and you any buyer can contact me. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on, Mr. Naresh Narasimhan. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hi. So uh, yeah. So we are. I am uh, representing a company called uh, Archie Group. Uh, which is Archi Masala and Spices uh, from down south uh, Chennai, India. So I just have uh, you know a couple of questions. We are currently present in uh, GCC and uh, uh, many African countries. So is there any specific uh, label uh, requirement for uh, Moroccan market or uh, you know Wana region, uh, especially because most of the countries speak Arabic and uh, French? So is there any particular uh, label? Uh, uh, Compliance, which is required uh, for that uh, particular region, or 
is there any specific label requirement for the entire uh, one region which can be you know implemented for the uh, packaging of our spices the second thing is uh, uh, we were uh, we are discussing about uh, whole spices uh, in uh, exporting to uh, morocco so i just want to uh, check whether is blended spices and masalas mm -hmm. do uh, those products have a bigger market in uh, morocco thank you All right. Next, I'd like to invite Mr. Seprioy. Mr. Seprioy from Morocco side. Yes, yes, I'm here again. Hi again. So please, I wanted to share with you one, one point I, I forgot to tell about uh, previously. We are facing one issue, and this message is for the Spices Board. Actually, when we want to open a new deal with a supplier, we have the possibility to share the, the details of the supplier to, do, to the board, I guess. And we are expecting an answer from them about the supplier. Is this supplier reliable? Is he authorized to export and so on? This, this, this kind of stuff. The, 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 the issue we have is that we don't have answers, or maybe if we do, it's after two or three, three weeks which for me is uh, counterproductive. I mean, you know, we are in business, we, we have to move on. Uh, we, can, we, we can accept an answer after one day, two days, three days, but after that, um, it's, it's, it's a nonsense to have an answer after one month or two, three weeks. So sometimes we do a lot of work to close the deal and at the end, we are only waiting for this, uh, for this okay from your side. And then we don't have this okay and we step back and everything can collapse so please what i'm asking for is more support to madame nizha in the embassy because we, we call we call her many times but she cannot do anything for for us so please support madame nizha that's my message many Mr. Sefroy, uh, we have noted your requirement as a trade as a, as someone in the trade from spices board being the uh, uh, government of india competent authority in the case of spices export we have registered spice exporters and those details are available in the board's website. Uh, we, it's, I, it's accessible to everyone. It, you can visit indianspices.com, which is the board's website, or if, they, uh, if it's necessary, I can share the specific path with the embassy uh, with a request to Pansar to further share it with you. And payment terms, as you would appreciate, beyond a certain point, we also would not be able to stand guarantee for right it. alone. That would be even, even better. Because payment terms generally get discussed, and that has a lot of uh, linkages. Uh, uh, it generally get discussed with the buyer and the seller, and it varies on a case-to-case -case basis. But we would be able to we will definitely be we have already rather we have already given the option for any buyer to check the board's website and uh, assess whether that particular firm is a registered spice exporter from India. Thank you. Okay, great. So beyond the payment terms, it was more about just the reliability of the supplier. But if we can do that on our end alone or only at the embassy level without checking with you each time, it will be even better. So yes, we will need support regarding that. Many thanks. All right. Now, Mr. Rakesh Roshan, I think uh, with Rakesh, we would stop this interaction session and move on to the board of thanks. Mr. Rakesh Roshan, we have Mr. Rakesh as the last speaker in the B2B interaction. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. I just want to give you a small introduction that uh, I am uh, speaking on behalf of Mrs. Kuldeep Agrawal from Rangli, East Sikkim. Sikkim is known as a pesticide free state and we are a supplier of a large cardamom in a good quality. But saying so, I have a two query. A few minutes back, I was listening that one of the executive was asking a health certificate of the spices. Will you consider lab test report as a health certificate or it's a totally different from the lab test report? It's a government authorized only. No, it, it, it's both are different. Health certificate gets issued based on a lab test report, but health certificate generally comes from the official competent authority of the particular country. 
of the particular country like here in here yeah. in india it's, it comes from a government body and all uh, these health certificates get, get issued on the strength of a lab test report here in the case of spices spice board is the uh, i mean is issuing health certificate and in this particular case of morocco we would also be uh, engaging in that hello i couldn't hear you i'm asking is the health certificate issued by state government or government oh, of no. india spice board is it is spices it is spices board okay thank you very much you are most welcome mr rajesh i think with this we will wind up the uh, inter this uh, the interaction session now um, may I request mr gk pant ifs first secretary commerce embassy of india rabat morocco to kindly propose the vote of thanks over to you sir good afternoon uh, good evening everyone today's uh, am i audible yes sir please proceed yeah. yeah today's interaction on spice trade between india and morocco was very useful i'm hopeful that today's event will be a step forward for enhancing the trade in the spice sector not only exports of spices from india will increase but uh, also the export potential of moroccan spices especially the saffron which is uh, grown here in large quantity i think that can be looked in by the indian importers also this will certainly go a long way in building a robust relationship between india and morocco i would like to take i'd like to express my gratitude to mr d satyan secretary spices board of india for being instrumental for organizing this event and for his special address i would also like to thank his excellency mr rajesh rashnav ambassador of india to morocco for his encouragement and for his inaugural address special thanks to ms parul singh deputy secretary plantations ministry of commerce and industry for her special address i would also like to thank mr abdul kader ben abdella president general confederation of moroccan Inter enterprises morocco mr elias so chairman export committee of finagri morocco and mr javed kardudi honorary consul of india in morocco my special thanks also to mr basit narayan jha director um, marketing spice board for the informative presentation i would also like to uh, thank uh, the a team from the customs uh, department of the government of morocco which uh, they were there but you know somehow due to uh, certain technical difficulties they were not able to answer the questions but i would request all the exporters uh, who have any uh, questions regarding relating to customs they can address their questions to the spice board and they will uh, forward it to us and then they will Uh, we will take it up with the customs authorities as well as with onsa regarding the health certificate issue so that this uh, problem can be resolved speedily i would also like to thank all the participants from india and morocco without whose participation the event would not have been a success for the moroccan participants i would like to uh, say that the spice board has already forwarded us the participants who were registered uh, for this the uh, for this event the indian exporters so we will be sharing with the moroccan importers the list of indian exporters so that they can get it get in touch with them to explore further uh, uh, opportunities in this area my special thanks to mr nitin jo deputy director spices board india who whom i have you know troubled uh, relentlessly Uh, with questions after questions about the event and uh, without his uh, uh, without without him this event would not have been success once again i thank everyone for participating in the event thank you very much thank you thank you sir it was a we it was a pleasure working with you uh, in the effective conduct of this organization thank you all the ambassador everyone all the officials of spice board and the uh, by yes this is this was possibly uh, probably one of the most interactive bicycle meets we have had this year so thank you all once again thank you so custom for this again thank you very much
Thank you very much.